Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail here from uh, Internet Business for Newbies. And uh, I just got a new plugin and uh, I just want to share it with you. It's, it's not that exciting kind of a plugin, but um, it's an AdSense plugin. And uh, I got a little tired of the AdSense plugins that were out and about there because they just had far too many adverts in there that were relating to the, the writer of the actual plugin. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. And I just found it so annoying. Um, and just they, f they were just a little hard to work out. And so many of my students found them hard to work out as well. So I decided that I would go and get my own AdSense plugin done. And that way um, I could uh, make it the way that I wanted it. So it's the WordPress um, AdSense plugin. And you won't find it amongst the WordPress dot org plugins you'll just have to come and download it from my uh, site so I'll show you where that can be done in just a moment well I'll add the address anyway to the um, to the video so you can easy download it from there but uh, let me just go and show you what I'm talking about here I'm going to whip over here to my um, site and show you this particular one that we have been using and it's easy AdSense setup and you'll see immediately this advert pops up here and what we've discovered or what I discovered that that many of my students had no clue what this was all about and they were clicking on it and before you knew it it was all over their websites and uh, very very difficult to get rid of it and so um, I just felt that uh, this along with uh, about three others were just so full of everyone else's uh, advertising that it was just time to just say goodbye to it <laughs> and get my own plugin and also you'll see this site here's child discipline site and we've got this nasty looking ad on here I don't know what that's got to do with anything and many times these didn't even bother turning up or showing up and so um, basically I just felt that it was time for a change so what I'm going to do is just do a live install live so you can see how it all works so basically I'm going to go into my plugins and I'm going to deactivate this particular one so uh, you can deactivate it then you can delete it out if you want but we'll just start off by de deactivating it and then I'm going to bring in um, my particular one that I've just had uh, built for me so let's just click on the old deactivate it's not working very fast is it okay now we've got rid of that it's time to get the new one so what we'll do is we'll go add new and uh, just go get the new plugin so we go upload because you actually will end up downloading it onto your hard drive and don't unzip it you need to leave it zipped and then you just go find where you've put it and uh, then you double click on it and just go install now and uh, it will be very very easy to do from here and you go activate and uh, it'll show up in the side here there it is there AdSense plugin there and if you get lost and don't know how to uh, how to use the plugin you can come across here to visit plugin site and it'll take you directly to where the video is for it so that's all good now once you've done that you come down here to settings and you'll find it down in here under something which I can never remember what it's under AdSense settings right here now all you need to do of course is you I'm assuming you have an AdSense account and you know how to go and uh, set up the different codes that you want and so once you've set up that then what you need to do is go and get the code that you want let me just show you this first AdSense ad above the content and you've got AdSense below the content, at the middle of the content, to the left of the content, to the right of the content. And then we also have widgets as well, one, two, three, four, five. You'll see them all there. And not only can we uh, do this, but we can also say, I do not want the widget to be displayed on the archive pages or the about or the privacy policy or the sitemap or the terms and conditions so we can actually tell where we want tell the software where we would like the, to display the ads because at the moment you'll see that they've got them on the front page and if we were to click on terms and conditions actually they won't show up now because these things actually deleted so they won't show up so um, let's just go back here and um, 
um, fortunately all the uh, all the ads are gone <laughs> let's put some new ones in but we can tell it exactly where we want it so what I'm going to do is go and get the particular code and I think we'll go with the this little one here copy that and let's say we'll just go above the content so we'll just go paste now if we don't want it in the about page we can go I don't want it there I don't want it in the site map I don't want it in the archive pages and then all we do next is skip all the way down to the bottom and save the changes now just to save time I'm going to go and get the skyscraper as well and this one is 120 by 600 and it goes into the widgets so what we're going to do is just pop down here and put it into widget bar 1 alright and we'll save that just to save time because I'm sure you're going to understand it it's not that hard to do um, and you'll find it very easy actually so now that's done and let's go to the front side of this and see what's happened now the ads may not appear um, immediately I have to understand that because it just takes some time for them to come through now this particular one that I've chosen here is not the best kind of ad I like the one that goes right across the top and also it's not picking up what the site's about and that sh and hopefully in a few moments that will come right and let's just see um, as far as the AdSense go we need to go and drag that across so let's go to appearance and to widgets and you'll see all the different AdSense ones are just put in here but we just want AdSense number one because that's the one that we did and uh, it's all in there just go close and we'll do a refresh on the screen now the adverts may not appear immediately but that's okay they will come through in time so we'll just give it some time at the moment it's just going to do that there may not be any adverts that's the other thing to do with um, child behavior and so what we're going to have to do is um, maybe put in a different uh, maybe not even run any AdSense ads on the site at all and so if you find that you're not getting any adverts that are relevant to what your site's all about it could well be that there are no AdSense adverts out there to do with what your site is about so just keep that in mind and I just use this for a demonstration I would say that there are no adverts out there in relation to my keywords that I've chosen and so that's why this is not working that well but that's as easy as it gets guys so just go in here if you want to put more widgets in then you just pop it into the widget and in the settings there and then you drag the widget across if you would like to move the um, adverts from that particular place and you want to put them somewhere else then you can just go in and change it and put them wherever you want them so that's it it's very simple so all you need to do is go to my website I'll put the link in for you and download the plugin from there so uh, this is Gail here from uh, Internet Business for Newbies and um, just uh, signing off for you and uh, trust that you'll enjoy the plugin. So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching.